Hello there and welcome to yet another Season 4 guide. In this guide I'll be teaching you how to play Lucian. Have fun. Lucian is an insanely strong AD carry when played correctly. I've been playing him only for a certain amount of time to figure out what he is capable of and it turns out that Lucian is able to deal almost the most amount of damage of any AD carry and therefore I decided to make this guide. If you want to know anything about runes, masteries and item builds, please take a look at the description. I don't want to talk about that in this video because it's a ton of boring information that can just be copied. Alright, so before we start going in depth on the laning phase and team fighting phase, let's take a quick look at Lucian's skill set. His passive, Light Slinger, gives Lucian a rapid fire double shot after using a skill. This is primarily what makes Lucian such a strong AD carry. To make good use of this, use a skill, double shot someone and use a skill again. Try to not use two skills after each other because that will be a waste of damage. His Q, Piercing Light, shoots a laser towards the direction of a click target. This skill must be clicked on an enemy unit, and it deals damage to all enemies hit. His W, Ardent Blaze, shoots a projectile towards a position. When it hits either something in between or it hits its destination, the projectile will explode, dealing area of effect damage. All hit targets are marked with a passive, which makes Lucian run faster when he auto attacks them. His E, Relentless Pursuit, dashes Lucian towards a position. This skill allows Lucian to reposition himself and to pass through walls. His R, The Calling, makes Lucian shoot rapidly into one direction. This skill takes a certain amount of time and allows Lucian to reposition himself during the cast time. However, Lucian is not able to change the direction of the skill. The skill shoots faster when you have more attack speed. When you get a kill during its duration, your E cooldown will reset, allowing you to dash again. Alright, having done that, it is time to go more in depth on the laning phase and the team fighting phase. Lucian is a beast in lane because he usually outtrades any other AD carry in the game. His double shot passive allows for great damage trades and for lane domination. Use this effectively on lane. Try to position yourself in a way that you are in line with your enemies. This way, you can use your Q to harass enemies through minions. It deals quite some damage and because of its range, you won't be damaged back. Be careful with your mana usage on lane. I see a lot of unskilled Lucian spend their skills on minions on lane, which is really not the way to go. His skills take quite a lot of mana and all of your damage is dependent on using those skills effectively. Use your skills only to damage enemy champions and to double shot after them. On level 6 you can deal some serious damage to your targets, because a good ult can deal almost 50% of so much HP in damage. Before casting your ult, try to hit your targets with your W. This will give you a speed buff when you hit your ult, allowing you to hit your ult easier. You can also use your E to reposition yourself in your ultimate. If you get a kill, you can use your E again to dash your back or to chase others. If you are in lane and you want to push a wave in before you go back, it's possible to use your ult to do that. It has increased damage onto minions, so one ultimate usually kills the entire minion wave. Also, when you're pushing turrets, you can use your skills to get the double shot, thus killing the tower faster. If you're starting to get the fuel illusion, you'll figure out that you can almost all in everyone in order to get a kill. This is risky though because it's still dependent on how your support plays. With all ins on lane, it's important that you have synergy with your support, that he uses his summoners correctly and reacts properly to your all in. Team fights are not much different from the lane, to be honest. The only thing that I like to do is to use your ultimate to kill tanks. If you have your last whisperer, this destroys tanks. You can also use it as a long range poke when you're sieging turrets. This usually makes them too low to defend their turret. Just make sure that you use his double shot to full effect. This makes Lucian so strong. Use a skill, double shot, use a skill and double shot and keep doing that. If you've got that under control and you know the standard AD carry rules, like staying in the back and kiting, you should be able to dominate in games. If you have any questions concerning Lucian, feel free to comment below. I will try to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching this HD commentary. If you've liked the video, please press the like button below. 
This helps me with growing my YouTube channel. And if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more of these, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Now get into a game evolution and kick some ass.